<laughs> okay, I'll say it. Which came first, a chicken or an egg? And what will disappear first? Well, let's imagine it will be an egg. At some point, all the chicken eggs on the planet disappear just like that. Humanity will lose the omelet and delicious pastries. But the worst thing is that the chickens will lose the ability to reproduce. They will disappear from the face of the Earth forever. And this is an absolute tragedy, because chickens are one of the most fantastic birds in the world. And people will realize this as soon as they lose them. So let's start. The eggs have disappeared. The morning on the farms began with chicken screams. It seems the birds have gone mad. They crow and cackle non-stop. Farmers don't know what's going on. They launch soporific gas into the chicken coops to calm the birds. When they fall asleep, people check what's wrong with them and discover that all the eggs have disappeared. And this is happening all over the world. The shares of chicken enterprises are collapsing. The bakery stops working because baking without eggs is not so delicious. And then serious problems begin. Billions of chickens wake up and find that their eggs are gone. Their offspring are gone. The chickens are terrified. They think people stole it from them. Birds get angry, attack farmers, and escape from coops. People don't take any measures since they don't want to harm the birds. They shouldn't be stressed. Let them throw out all the emotions. Perhaps those are the last chickens on Earth, so humanity lets them enjoy their freedom. In addition, all coops are now useless. It's not profitable to keep chickens there. But they don't need freedom. They need eggs. Chickens cover the fields like a giant blanket. They run past forests and clearings. It seems that this is the dream of any wolf. But as soon as this beast appears on the horizon, the chickens immediately attack it. Wolf packs can't withstand millions of chickens, so they retreat. Then the chickens come to the cities. Scientists are trying to solve the problem of missing eggs. They want to clone chickens. And until they do, people are forbidden to catch them. All the streets belong to these birds. The car's horns and police sirens mix with the loud clucking of chickens. The metropolis turns into a huge coop. Billions of feathers fly in the air. These birds peck trees, wheels on cars, ruin shops, and tear packages with grain. People are hiding in houses. Chickens flood every building in the city. Worldwide news talks about the chaos that the chickens have created. But then they calm down. The chickens forget that they have lost their offspring. They're not angry anymore. Now they're quietly walking the streets. People come out of hiding and start living with chickens in peace and harmony. Meanwhile, the prices of the remaining eggs in stores are increasing hundreds of times. Now you need to pay at least $1,000 to eat an omelet. But of course, it doesn't last long. After two months, all the eggs get spoiled. Sooner or later, the world loses the omelet. Croissants, cakes, buns, donuts, and other pastries lose their great taste. Cooks can't bake delicious food without egg yolk. Dishes lose their tenderness, splendor, and shape. Some cooks replace chicken eggs with goose and quail eggs, but it's much more challenging to get them than chicken eggs. Prices are rising every day. People don't buy croissants with coffee anymore. Many bakeries are losing profits. People learn to live without egg yolk. But then everyone forgets about it. Chickens live side by side with city residents. There are fewer and fewer birds left. They grow old, but new ones aren't born. And at this moment, everyone begins to realize that these cute birds can disappear from the face of the earth forever. There will be no more morning crowing, no more cute little yellow chickens. There will be no more coops and feathers. Almost the entire population of the planet becomes vegetarian to support chickens mentally. People didn't realize how much they love these birds. Humanity is watching with tears the last years of the oldest chickens. Farmers are in a severe depression. They remember how they went to the coop every morning and collected eggs. Now they can find nothing but cobwebs and straw. People in cities make chicken tattoos and draw graffiti with birds on the walls. Sculptors create beautiful statues of chickens. People clean chickens' feathers, feed them the best grains, and create fake golden eggs to reduce their stress levels. The most fabulous directors make movies about chickens. They spend hundreds of millions of dollars to develop computer models of talking birds. 
Musicians and beat makers record chicken sounds and create unique songs. Every person considers it their duty to take care of a chicken. They live with birds as pets, walk with them, take selfies, and record videos. Now the chickens are absolute superstars. Of course, pigeons, crows, sparrows, and other birds don't like this. They don't get enough food and attention from people. Birds fly away from megacities. Now only running chickens remain on the streets. But unfortunately, they can't live forever. Chickens are getting old. They don't move as fast as they used to. They develop illnesses and injuries. The best veterinarians are fighting for the life of every bird. They perform complex operations and install prostheses to cure sick chickens. Billionaires invest a lot of money to prolong the life of these animals. They use the most advanced technologies in genetic engineering and cybernetics. And now, the first cyborg chickens appear. They have metal beaks, laser red eyes, polyurethane claws, and wings made of ultralight carbon steel. Scientists try to connect to the bird brain's neurons to find out what the chicken is thinking about. A special program simulates the brain waves and turns them into sound. People hear their thoughts, but they don't think about anything except co co co. Chickens turned into mechanized machines, but their brains are still organic. By this time, scientists have created chicken clones. They are as natural as real birds, but they can't lay eggs. Fewer and fewer chickens walk the streets every day. There are thousands, then hundreds, then only dozens of them. Finally, there are only two chickens left. They go off into the sunset. People are watching their last journey. They mourn and weep with grief. The birds are moving away and disappearing into the horizon. People will remember this day forever, the final day of the last chickens. In this sad time, scientists have found a way out. They have uncovered the chicken DNA gene, which means they can create these birds anew. Biologists are building the oldest DNA genome, the genome from which the evolution of chickens began. Scientists put all the genetic information inside an artificial egg and wait. And finally, the moment of truth has come. Cracks appear on the egg. The little chicken comes out of the shell in its original evolutionary form. And this is a little Tyrannosaurus. It turns out that this dinosaur is the ancestor of the modern chicken. T-Rex has a similar body shape. It moves like a chicken. Over millions of years of evolution, the ancient lizard has shrunk in size. They lost their scales and grew feathers. Then they got a beak instead of toothy jaws. Scientists are growing a Tyrannosaurus. It's getting bigger and bigger every month. People create huge farms to keep the dinosaurs there. Lizards begin to multiply. People don't know how to control them. Some giant reptiles escape from farms and wreak havoc in cities. In theory, a Tyrannosaurus takes tens of millions of years to turn into a chicken again. No one is ready to wait that long. Everyone wants the chickens back as soon as possible. Fortunately, scientists managed to speed up the process. Decades pass, Tyrannosaurs are shrinking in size. Accelerated evolution turns them into birds. And finally, people get those chickens that they lost. They're laying eggs again. Harmony and happiness have returned to the world. But then, pigs started disappearing, and with it, bacon. Breakfast was broken once again. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.